Good evening, everyone. Joe for Jaspi's Hobbyland.com. Joe from Dodgers Land. Um, very happy about my Dodgers taking it to a game seven. Man. Another night of stress. Um, there it is. Tuesday, the 31st. Happy Halloween, folks. Break number four. Pick your team four. We got Ziggy with last spot mode. He actually bought the last few teams. Panthers right here. There's everyone else. Now, this is going to take... This this break should take us pretty much to the end of the broadcast. Um, it should probably take us to the end of the broadcast, but I made a deal with everybody just off camera just a few moments ago that I said, hey, if... Oh, there it is right there. I said, hey, if... Uh, if the Yankees, which are the only team left in Triple Threads Baseball on jazbeeshobbyland.com, if the Yankees sell out, I'll do another. Uh, I'll do another break. So I'll do that break because we only have one team left. I'm down to do that. All right, here are all the boxes. Oh, they're heavy. Uh, yes, we have a lot more prism left, Nick. So I will post another one. Uh, you know what? This, this is such a long break. I'll post. I'll post it right now. So if you're watching on YouTube, you could fast forward through the part where I post another case of Prism. Uh, if you're watching live, you're just stuck watching me post another case of Prism. Um, so Prism Four is happening right now. Prism Five, I'm loading up to jazbeeshobbyland.com right now. Although if you're watching the replay on YouTube, you may realize that most of the teams are gone already. So there's 32 total teams in this. Let's get this in stock, and then I have to add one for every team. Add one for every bit of teams right here. Um, Amir, who just watched, finally watched Impeccable Pick Your Team 10, says, you hit, yeah, you hit that silver Manning card. There you go. Congrats. Yeah, you got to keep track of that, sir. I keep track of the breaks that you're in. Otherwise, you'll get surprise surprise packages from from Jaspies. Although sometimes that's fun too. You'll be like, "Hey, oh yeah, I was in this break. I'm glad I hit something." All right. I see that wasn't that bad. I'm already done. Uh, so we, like I said, currently we are doing pick your team four. And now a full case break, same configuration, same everything. Pick your team five is on jazbeeshobbyland.com right now. So let me just refresh the page and make sure I did that correctly. Yep, it's in. So if you want it, go for it. Let me just double check one more thing. Yeah, okay, yeah. So same prices and all that jazz. Thank you very much. And here we go. Let's show you all the boxes right here. So there's 12 right there. I have the focus set right here. So let me move these aside just to make myself a little bit of room. So they're not going anywhere. They're just going to be right there. So fear not. I just need extra room. Let me actually post, put these up here. Slide that one over here. All right. Good luck, everybody. Uh, like I said, I, wasn't not, I was not lying. This is going to take a solid hour. So relax if you're in this break. Kick back and relax. I'll be breezing through the... Um, through the base cards and the inserts rather quickly. Remember, vet base does not ship, but the prism, the refractor, the vet base will ship because those are considered inserts. Obviously, all serial numbered cards will ship. But I'm going to be breezing through a lot of those pretty quickly. If I happen to miss one, don't worry. Uh, our sorting and shipping department, usually when they're sorting all this stuff out, will uh, we'll find any of those stragglers. I'll just soft sleeve. The in uh, the uh, the serial numbered cards. I'll soft sleeve and top load the autographs, and the serial numbered cards will all be top loaded before they are shipped out. Everything else will just be in a nice little team bag, packed up nicely and shipped out to you. So good luck to everybody. Thanks to Ziggy for grabbing the last few spots. Finally got this done. All right, get comfortable. I'm I'm comfortable. I got. Little thing of water here. Relax, kind of stretched out my arms a little bit. Hands, 
and we're ready to go. I have to admit, because of all the baseball, I have not paid attention to any football last weekend. 148 out of 199 Jabril Peppers for the Browns. Um, so what was there? Was there anything important that happened? Uh, someone got hurt, really grisly injury. Zach Miller, I think it was. I kind of paid attention. I basically just paid attention to the Raiders game. That was it. Let's look up scores. So let's see if we can do this at the same time. Uh, there's Matt Ryan. How the Falcons do? Oh yeah, they barely beat the Jets out of 275. So like these are considered the prism ones, right? So that Derek Carr will ship, but this Ben Roethlisberger, you can see it's not refractory. That will not ship. Um, this obviously will ship. That's Kevin White uh, out of 149. Kid reporters won't ship. Sorry. The NFL discount cards, those will not ship. Sorry. Paul Polizny for the Jaguars out of 199. Oh, points. Um, here's what we're doing with points now. We, uh, I know most of you know already, but we are gathering them into one lot at the very end. So if more points com cards come out, they'll be, they'll be gathered into one lot and randomized to one person. I think, it's, I think it makes the points um, a little more attractive that way. The point store is not bad. But it doesn't help if you only get 250 points, and then it doesn't really do you any good. But if we combine a bunch of points together, if this case happens to have that many, so stuff like this will ship, it's actually nice to have a bunch of points because then you can actually do something with it. Right? Is that fair? I think it's fair. 41 out of 49, Brad Kaya, Red Power. And Marvin Jones Jr. out of 75. I feel like he had a big game, I think, according to my DraftKings lineup which I did not do well on. For two weeks early in the season, I was a DraftKings genius, We're just winning buckets of money left and right. But I'm not a genius anymore for the last few weeks. Out of 149, LaShawn McCoy. I blame the Dodgers. Are we even centered? That, that takes care of an autograph. There's Brandon Cooks to, 99, to 199. Not Brandon Cooks to 99, that guy. Uh, there's our first autograph, Davis Webb. That is for the New York Football Giants. That'll go to David Kist with the Davis Webb. David with the Davis. Um, oh, I should have meant. Well, it's, it's too late now. I was gonna do. I'm gonna do a recap video of all the autographs at the end. In a separate video. So if you're still listening, I guess you could turn it off now. You're watching the replay video. Desmond King. Nice one for the Chargers. Uh, Los Angeles Chargers, Joe Foster with that one. There you go, Joe. Nice, right, not numbered. And anything else? No, that's it. So let me move all these aside. Actually, you know what? Hang on a second. one of these trays here. We can put all the base cards in there for the shipping team to sort out. These are, cards are pretty slippery, so if I stack them up too high, they'll, they'll slide right off and create a mess. Leave these right next to me here. It's, how about you live right here? Okay, uh, next box. We'll go from this far side over here. That's where all the boxes are. All right, good luck. Next up. Um, Sam, no, I'm afraid we don't, Sam. Sorry. But we do have a lot of, uh, we always run a bunch of different promotions throughout the week. You know, um, we want to reward people uh, who, who buy in and, um, and join our sort of all break sold promos or help fill up breaks and whatnot. So we do different wacky promos like that. 
we generally find that if we do uh, new person discounts, it makes us kind of feel sad because then they just hit it and quit it. They're like, yeah, we got that discount from you. And then we'll never see them again. So that, yeah, that's why we, we try to, we try to build up our audience and audience loyalty with good high quality breaks and a good time in a family friendly environment. And then we have all sorts of break credit promotions for certain breaks and whatnot through there. Do we do internships? Bailey asks. Um, well, you'd have to be in California, Bailey, Baltimore, in Southern California specifically. I, I don't know how actually that, how that works actually. There are, believe it or not, from the business side of things, you'd be surprised at how much like regulations there are on internships. We'd have to work directly with a certain university or something like that. Um, so that way we're, you, we just don't use you as slave labor. Um, 50 out of 199, Philip Rivers. Uh, see, there's more points right here. So we'll just combine that with that 400 right there. So, that, so again, that takes the place of an autograph. So I guess we would do internships. I just don't know how we would go about doing it at the moment. We actually have a pretty small staff here. OJ Howard out of 99. So we all wear a lot of hats, and sometimes we don't have the time to really get things done, like figure out how to do internships. Uh, Deshaun Kaiser for the Browns. That'll go to Cleveland Ellie. There you go, Ellie. Green scope is what they call it. But I'd like crop circles. I like spirographs. 13 out of 99. We do need to get a uh, we need, do need to get our rewards program back off the ground to Groose. That is true. We need to reward the return customers as well, not just with regular break credit promotions and other fun stuff that we do, but with uh, with actual rewards, you know. Commensurate with uh, the amount that you support Chaspie's Hobbyland. Christian McCaffrey, I don't know why I sleeve that up. I'm going to do all these later. It just takes up too much time, sorry. Um Every, every second counts in a break like this. And we've got Derek Barnett autograph. That'll go to the Fly Eagles Fly, Justin Miller with that one. Nice one, Justin, on the board. So like these inserts will ship to these illumination. I don't think any of these are numbered, so that's why I'm kind of breezing through those. Shelton Gibson for the Fly Eagles Fly, 87 out of 199. Um, you didn't even know that, DeGroosh? DeGroosh didn't even know we had a points program. It lasted for like a month before it melted down our website because it couldn't, it couldn't calculate things properly and couldn't reset them properly once a week. And it, it caused more trouble than it was. 28 out of 49. And so we had, to, we had to suspend it until we can figure out how to do it. I think we're trying to work on getting a new website by next year, which is a few months or so, which should be able to sustain things like that. So stay tuned for that, folks. Devontae Adams, Packers, out of 275. There's Eric Berry out of 199. Sam says someone said that they pulled a Trubisky out of 10 illuminations. Oh, so there might be numbering there. Out of 275, I actually do have the checklist open. Should I just look? Solve this once and for all? We'll see if that person was BSing you or not, Sam. I'm not spelling that right. Um, oh, there is. There's green. Oh, man, I have to look at those now. Green, gold mojo out of 10, and black finite, one of one. I'm sure. Well, I'll just look at the facts. I was going to say, I'm sure that that it'd be easy enough to tell. Like they should be definitely different from the other one, so. All right, all right. Oh, you've only been with it, you've only been with us since the National in Chicago, to Grouch? You sure? The most recent Chicago? For whatever reason, I thought you were here some like earlier this summer. Anyhow, yeah, I mean we're we obviously appreciate everyone's support, you know, and strong and consistent support even without 
any kind of rewards program like this. So I appreciate that, ladies and gentlemen. But do know that 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 on the back burner, percolating on the back burner, are are additional things that we're trying to trying to do to look out for for you guys. You know, because it's uh, I mean, it's a pricey odd. Now I know the way we do it kind of helps mitigate some of the prices, but still. Going hitless is not fun either, so we are working on it, ladies and gentlemen. All right, next box. All right, good luck, boys and girls. Taco Charlton. Mmm, tacos. Cowboys. Uh, we can thank Cameron Mabin for stealing a base. Now we can steal a taco. Roberto Nava with that one. Thanks, Cameron Maven. Not that guy, though. We can't steal him. Marshawn Lattimore at a 99 for the Saints. Charles Sims to 275 for the Buccaneers. That'll be for Alex Lindsay and his Bucks. There's Jay Ajayi who, right, went to the Eagles. And there's TJ Logan for the car. Kevin Crouch, you totally forgot about the free taco. That's exactly what Taco Bell wants you to do. That's exactly what Taco Bell wants you to do. They want you to forget about the free taco that you can get, I think it's tomorrow. I don't know. Someone look that up. That's This is very important. Someone, someone look that up. When do we? When can we cash in on that free taco? That's what they want you to forget, Kevin Crouch. They don't want to give away five zillion tacos. 131 at 275, Tredavious White. That's probably participating locations as well. Is it tomorrow? R Regicidal, Lee Keller says tomorrow. So ladies and gentlemen, public service announcement from jaspieshobbyland.com. Go to your local participating Taco Bell tomorrow. It's tomorrow. It also confirms Bailey Baltimore seconds it. 7 out of 10 from 2 to 6 p.m. local time. I sleeve these one up because these are out of 10. Carlos Henderson, gold, vinyl. It's all Taco Bells. All right. Better be all Taco Bells. That DeGrush, you're in. Good pun. Oh, see, now i got to look at this. Tom Brady, not numbered. It's got to be like, it's got to be obvious. I have to think. Anyhow. Taco again. DeGrush saying they don't want us to taco about it. No, they don't. They don't. Out of 199. Uh, Nick Hughes says, the closest Taco Bell is 20 miles away. Is it worth it? No. <laughs> it is not worth it. For the, ex for, for the experience, yes. Fiscally, no. We got Aaron Rodgers, Gold Mojo, or whatever they call it now, 5 out of 10. I feel like these have a lot of different names than they usually do. That goes to the Packers. That Carlos Henderson went to the Broncos Nino. The Packers one goes to Jerry. Nice. Sam says, Taco Bell, only edible if uh, you've been drinking. This is probably true. It's probably true. I've had Taco Bell on regular occasions. 31 out of 75, Danny Woodhead for the Purple Birds. And not as, not as good. You know, it's just like, it's not what I remembered it being after a, a, a few whiskeys or so in. There's Jeremy Hill for the Bengals. 67 out of 99. We got Thank You Hilton, T.Y. Hilton, uh, 23 out of 199. And the last bit here is Taiwan Taylor, 43 out of 149, Blue Wave for the Titans. Tighten up, Brad, Brad Richards tightening up. Nice. Now, what's intriguing is the uh, the Taco Bell naked talk breakfast taco or whatever it's called. I don't even know what it's, it is. The, but the, the shell of your taco is with an egg. But is that an egg that they that they make there? You know, do they do they do they have the egg freshly made there like McDonald's does, or is this just like a pre-made like someone needs to tell me about this? It's just a pre-made egg or something. 
that they just put in a microwave that's already shaped like that. It's discontinued? What are you talking about? You try to, I saw a commercial for it yesterday. Lee, Re, Real Regis, Regicidal's collection. That's Lee Keller, big Mets collector, saying that he tried to go get one two days ago and the person there said, done. You saw a commercial three days ago and you went the next day and the lady there said, done. Maybe that location was done. That was short-lived. She said disc na nationwide, discontinued nation. Unbelievable. I blame, I blame Trump or Obama. One of those guys. It's one of those guys' fault. Probably the Russians, actually. Unbelievable. Someone's fault. I, who can I blame? We need someone to blame. Unbelievable. Clearly a Russian job, says Sam. I, I blame Roger Goodell. How about that? That's a good guy to blame. I blame Roger Goodell. Just not running the NFL properly. Not running tacos properly. Bailey also informing me they can only get the Doritos Locos taco for free tomorrow, if you did not know. Uh, I think the issue with the Doritos Locos taco is that the the shell, I think, is too brittle. I think I've only had it like once, but uh, Darren Lee, 98 out of 275. Uh, you, sh you should have kept it just one time, DeGroosh. <laughs> Kenny G, a pretty sexy hit for Michael Gallucci and the Lions. One of the best autographs among the rookies this year. Good penmanship. Probably did not text a lot when he was a kid. So good for him. We got Elijah Qualls. Eagles. Yeah, we should we should occupy Taco Bell. That's what I'm gonna do. Nice, Corey Davis. This is the camos are out of 25. 17 out of 25 on that one for the Titans. Brad Richardson. That always fools me. I always think that's like a, a parallel or something like that because of the blue in the background. So is that numbered? See, that doesn't look different. Instant impact. Kind of looks like the illuminations. Out of 275, Jordan Howard. Bears. Oh, I see. Nick Hughes has a theory. He's saying that it, he thinks it's the King and Ronald McDonald. They don't want the non-mascot restaurants breaking in on the breakfast market. So you think McDonald's came in and said, you know, and strong arm Taco Bell? Out of 99, Alex Smith for the Chiefs. That's possible, you know. Ronald McDonald, the you know, it was just like, yeah, there's no way you're doing this. There's Elijah Qualls autograph this time, same same as that. Eagles, Justin Miller, starting your Elijah Qualls PC, whether you like it or not. There you go. Hopefully he becomes a Hall of Famer. Save one, grade one. Sell one, grade one. David Moore. Out of 275, it's for the Seahawks. Brett Favre, not numbered on that Brett Favre. Uh, Todd Gurley, out of 149. Blue Wave, that'll be for the Rams. Derek Slavic with that. And JJ, poor JJ Watt. JJ Watt, 24 out of 25 on that one. And for the Purple Birds, Marlon Humphrey. Marlon Humphrey auto. For Joe Hauer and his Ravens. There you go, Joe. Oh, that's, we, so we got a bonus autograph. So we got the extra Elijah Qualls was a bonus. All right, I don't feel bad then. Malachi Moore. 
Is this a hot box then? Malachi, some people said there there are hot boxes in existence. Malachi Dupree for the Packers, Jerry Bennington. And that's that. Registidal saying Taco Bell always discontinues the best stuff. The Cheesy Core Burrito, Mini Crunch Wrap Supreme. Kevin Crouch saying that that Burger King and McDonald's strong armed. All right, so those boxes are gone, so we're starting with these boxes here. Uh, strong armed uh, Arby's to eliminate their breakfast menu. They called in the wolf. Oh, the wolf? Why didn't you say so? They called the wolf on their breakfast menu, probably. Are you guys? Like, you guys are on, like, Van Nuys and Topanga Canyon Road. Actually, Van Nuys and Coldwater Canyon. It's about a 20 minute drive. I'll be there in 10. Sam saying, sometimes Jimmy John's does free subs for a few hours. And funny drive my shop because there's like 50 people. Man. Do that. We have Jimmy John's out here in California, do we? We may now. All right, next box. How are we doing on time? I guess we're making decent time. Have we sold out that? Are the Yankees gone yet? Oh, I see orders coming in. Let me refresh the triple threads page. No, still at one. There's Jesse James at a 275. Oh, we do have Jimmy John's out here? There's Eric Decker, big Eric Decker at a 75 for the Titans, Brad. And we do have In N Out. In N Out is pretty good. I actually haven't had In N Out in a while, maybe for lunch tomorrow. Uh, Andy Dalton, Blue Wave out of 149. I think in and out has crept into like Texas now. It's slowly moving out east. Out of 149, another Corey Davis blue wave. Uh, Julian Edelman out of 199 for the Patriots. Trevor Simeon for the Broncos out of 275. Now they got to get that offense in order. Otherwise, they're going to waste that amazing defense. It hurts me to, as a Raiders fan to talk nicely about the Broncos, but it's true. Christian McCaffrey, nice. We haven't seen one of these yet. I think this is one of the rookies we haven't seen in the first three cases that we've done. Or have we? I don't know. Not very many. Green scope or crop circles. That's for Ziggy and last spot mojo. C-Mac, run CMC. 16 out of 99, nice. There you go, Ziggy. Thank you for uh, for grabbing that. I don't know why that card looked weird. Let's see, it's a little bent. Probably from the manufacturing. Wayne Gallman, the 275 for the New York Football Giants. And we've got Brad Kaya out of 149. For the still Lions edition? I think so, out of 149. I thought he was moved somewhere. All right, there's Sam Bradford, 13 out of 99. Oh, nice, Smitty. I didn't realize that. Yeah, I, I see Cisco branded stuff all over the place. Joe P, um, triple threads. If you buy the Yankees, I'll do triple threads. Otherwise, this will be the last break of the night. And there's Brian Hill for the Dirty Birds. Nice. Joe P, did you see the latest video on our on our YouTube? I think you'll be pretty excited. We find, remember that that empty box, Joe P from uh, 2016 Playbook Football, break 33. Oh, does 66. 123. It wasn't break 66, but there's Cooper Cup for the Rams. 
Well, we finally did that box. You do remember, we finally did that box. Do you remember what team you had in that break? Back in February? Uh, no, well, maybe you did. I don't remember, but that that team. No, I don't think you did have the Cowboys. You had um, you had the Browns. You bought for whatever reason. You bought the Cleveland Browns in 2000. This was your crazy. I'm gonna buy everything on Jaspi's days. I feel like, uh, but you bought the Browns, Cleveland Browns, in a full case of 2016 Panini Playbook football, and we there was a box that was empty. If you remember, and we finally replaced that box in that break. We did the break, and guess what? You got a hit with the Browns. You got, you're going to love this. You got, a, you got a Gary Barnage redemption. You got a Gary Barnage redemption. So Gary Barnage has someone that can actually throw to him. No, I, I feel you, Sam. Sam. Sam's in the breakers.tv stream saying hey at the jimmy johns where they do that line out the door promo it's like yeah you're gonna wait 15 minutes for a five dollar sub no way not me that's right joe pete start time to play the lottery and gary barnage there's the duke duke johnson i feel like the browns have like decent names on their on their team they're just not putting it together. There's Artavis Scott for the Los Angeles Chargers. And a couple people earlier today were telling me a story about how they had a shot at A.J. McCarron or something. And maybe someone else at the trading deadline. And they forgot to press, press like send on their fax machine so the trade didn't go through to the league. And now they're sitting around being like, oh, we're dumbs. We feel stupid. There's Charles Harris to 199 for the Dolphins. I think that's the... One per case patch auto. I set that there so I don't have to hold it. But what were the other big trades? Bossman, who's a big Eagles guy, he was saying um, uh, Jay Ajay, which I thought was a great move. And here comes the case hit. It's Mitch Trubisky, three color patch and autograph. One out of ninety nine. Nice. It's one per case. Nice one for. The Bears, Ziggy with the Bears. Another one of the teams that he picked up at the very end. The Bears were just sitting there for a while too. Nice Mitch Trubisky, that's the case hit. One per case. Um, you know, he has not performed well, but I, it's hard to say, it's hard to tell because I don't think the entire Dolphins team, Nick Hughes, has played pretty well. There's Evan Ingram, 50 out of 99 for... Big Blue. I just don't think that the rest of the team has played very well, so it's hard to say. He's got that weird knee issue, I guess, which apparently checked out okay. There's Cordia uh, Cordry, uh, Cordre. There's Tankersley. <laughs> so, speaking of the Dolphins, that'll go to Armando and the Finns. But that, I thought that was a that was a great move by the Eagles. You know, their their running situation. There's Marcus May at a 275 for the Jets. Was uh, was not really settled, you know what I mean? And so to have um, to have someone a little more established like Jay Ajayi on that team. There's Le'Veon Bell out of 149. I think was a, I thought was a great move. I was a little surprised. I didn't think that the Eagles were were sitting there waiting to make that move. 165 out of 199. Bobby Wagner. What did they what did they give up for him? A second round pick? Maybe a little bit later. There's Alan Hearns out of 149, Jaguars. Uh, Justin Miller, have not seen any Mac Hollins autographs for you. Uh, but I did see um, there were a couple of Derek Barnett autographs for you. So uh, there were a couple Eagles autographs in there for you, plus some parallels, I think. 
Thomas Rawls for the Seahawks out of 275. And hey, there's Jay Ajari. We're just talking about you, Jay. 59 out of 75. Still goes, goes to the uh, Dolphins in this set. And that'll be for Armando. We'll sleeve all of these up a little bit later. All right, six boxes left. We're halfway through this half case break. Got to hustle a little bit. We're a little over the 30 minute mark on the break. So, got to move a little bit more quickly. Uh, like I said, if we uh, if we fill up, I know this will take us right to the end of the broadcast, this break, to the top of the hour, and a little bit past, to be honest with you, but um, I, I made a deal saying that, hey, if, if someone buys the Yankees in Triple Threads Baseball, it's a nine-box enter from a fresh case on jazbeeshobbyland.com. If someone does that, I will uh, I will go ahead and break it, even though it's like a 20, 20-minute 20 break, it'll take us over, but I will break it. Keep in mind that um, I, I will not be here tomorrow. Nick Jaspi will be filling in for me tomorrow on new release day for Five Star Baseball and Immaculate Soccer. I will be watching Game 7 of the World Series with my buddies. I know everyone knows how big of a Dodger fan I am. So I'll be doing that. Nick has kindly uh, agreed to fill in that night. But it may not be as long of a night. He does a lot of other things here at Jaspie's Hobbyland, so. But I think as long as breaks keep filling, he'll keep going. Okay, uh, Bailey, your friend would like to know how to make an account that allow him to type in the chat room on jaspieshobbyland.com. Um, well, he has to either create a YouTube account, 178 out of 199, uh, Eddie Lacy, thin or fat, I'm not sure. Uh, he needs to have a Google or a Gmail, like a Google account, I think, to chat in the YouTube stream. And to chat on breakers.tv slash jaspy, he needs to just create an account there. Then he should be able to chat in either of the chat rooms. Marlon Humphrey, 112 out of 199 for the Purple Birds. So two bird teams for the Parallels. Terrell Suggs for the Ravens as well out of 199. Try to move a little bit more quickly here. Adam Vinatieri for the Colts out of 275. Jamal Charles for the Broncos, 58 out of 99. <laughs> yeah, but Nick Hughes, as Nick Hughes pointed out, but is Philly really where you want to go to revamp your rushing career? They had McCoy, Murray, Blunt. I think people overrated Blunt. Out of 148, I think he he worked very well, you know, for, for New England, for their purposes, but maybe not for what the Eagles were looking for in their system. All right, speaking of the Eagles, there's a Shelton Gibson. 54 out of 149 for Justin and the Fly Eagles Fly. I feel like there was another Shelton Gibson early on too. You might have two Shelton Gibsons and two Derek Barnett, I think. No, no return of the Max yet. There's Jarvis Landry for the Dolphins at a 275. And there's Alvin Kamara. Nice. Nice Alvin Kamara. For the Saints, that'll go to Corey McNeil. With the Go Saints. Nice Alvin Kamara. There's Jonu Smith for the Titans out of 99. And there's Aaron Jones. We were just talking about Aaron Jones a little bit earlier off camera. Talking about how talking about how a lot of teams seem to have a lot of nice, you know, first top or kind of next tier rookies that you want to try to chase. TJ Watt, nice for the Steelers out of 275. Right. Next box. Cruising. Cruising along here. 
Um, scores. Okay, so I wasn't really paying attention to football scores because because um, I was watching. Uh, my my brain has been all 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 blue, all on the Dodgers. Um, Ravens shutting out the Dolphins, forty to nothing. That was on Thursday night. We saw that together. Uh, Vikings in London at the Rugby Stadium, right? Not at Wembley. Thirty three sixteen over the Browns. Poor Browns, hapless Browns. Uh, Falcons edging out the Jets. Were there any? Was there anything like interesting that happened over the? Was there something things I should know, folks. Let me know if there's things that happened last week that, that is worthy of note. Uh, Panthers, seventeen three. That's kind of a brutal game. Thirty three ten. Eagles look great, looking great, playing great. Adding Jay Ajayi, going to the Super Bowl maybe. I don't know. Uh, I think Bears went to New Orleans. But only managed 12 points. Their 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 defense clearly not scoring the points that they need to. So no no lucky tips for interceptions there. So Bears are who we thought they were. Um, Patriots 21-13 over the Chargers. That, that I guess that was to be expected. <sighs> my Raiders. What do you do with my Raiders? 30. They're losing 34-14 to the Bills. Uh, Bengals narrowly edging out the Colts 24-23. I saw bits and pieces of that uh, Texan Seahawks game, 41-38. That was that seemed to be a fun game. I would not have expected 38 points from uh, from. Oh, I thought that was Deshaun Watson. Demarius Tom, Deshaun Watson, uh, 275. That'll go to the Broncos. Did not expect that, but. Uh, there's Mike Wallace for the Purple Birds. Purple Crystal for the Purple Birds out of 75. See some camo coming up. That camo will be Vaughn Miller. Do, 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 do. Out of 25. Uh, what else happened? Cowboys taking care of the uh, their rivals, the Redskins, 33-19. They're going to be without Ezekiel Elliott for a little while. Steelers over the Lions, 20-15. to Big Ben looking okay on the road. Uh, yeah, Juju Smith-Schuster. Um, Nick Hughes saying, i got to say, as a Steelers fan, Brian has been trouble, and after Juju's 97-yard TD, he can have that spot. I think that's what people are thinking. I'm sure Big Ben likes to throw to that guy, too. There's Jake Butt. He's a tight end. Get it? Nino with the Broncos, little oppo Joe mojo. So that's what, that's what they did. And, yeah, speaking of the Broncos, actually, this top loader is not working. Um, the Chiefs beating the Broncos 29-19. The Broncos' defense still good, but if you can't score points, um, if you can't score points, you're going to lose those ball games. Broncos, I don't know why I'm rooting for the Broncos. To It's just because if the Broncos play well and the Raiders are playing well, it makes the AFC West really fun. Uh, Deonta Foreman for the Texans autograph for Joe Howard. What's my opinion, Austin is asking, of the Ezekiel Elliott situation? Uh, I I don't know the evidence, obviously. I've not talked to any uh, to Ezekiel Elliott or the alleged victim, but obviously something happened and, and enough happened to where he was going to be suspended. There's TJ Logan, 275. And, you know, if that's, if that's going to be that, that suspension should be upheld. But... I think he, he's just been kind of – it kind of sucks because he's been sort of screwed around. Like everyone's been screwed around on this. Marshawn Lattimore, the Cowboys organization, the fans, the victim, every, everybody. This whole thing's been dragging out in the news for so long. Like you're kind of sick of hearing it. You know, you just kind of want it to get done and over with. Um, there it is, out of 75, Marshawn Lattimore. All right, Lee. Well, if they do, just look at our videos tomorrow, man. Have a good night. Um – so, like, I, I blame Roger Goodell. Here's out of 199, Chad Kelly, and the Players, the players Union for actually giving the commissioner that kind of, like, bargaining power. I think, I think that's what's going down, the, like, legally. That's why the whole Tom Brady thing took forever with the deflated football and all that. You know, that took forever, and that dragged out. Because when they were negotiating the collective bargaining agreement, there's Odell Beckham Jr., poor Odell Beckham Jr. with his ankle. I think the uh, – it's out of 149, by the way, David Kist. Um, 
I don't know why I sleeved that. I was just putting those over. See, I'm in the middle. There's Zach Ertz out of 275. Let me just do this really quick. But Red Power, Kevin King out of 49. But I think like when they collectively ab agreed to that contract, that new deal, the new CBA, the Players Association gave gave the NFL way too much power. They gave the right to Roger Goodell to be judge, jur like Judge Dredd, judge, jury, and executioner. And then they don't like the fact that he's that. So they've decided that every time any, any sort of issue happens, they're going to sue every time and take it to court, which is what they did with Tom Brady and which is what's going on with Ezekiel Elliott. And now it's just dragging out forever. And, and where does that gotten us? You know, the courts have to... Uh, the courts uh, ultimately upheld the suspension that the NFL... Uh, that the NFL set in the first place, right? Brady still had, to had his, what, two, four-game suspension... You know, and um, and Ezekiel Elliott has to carry out his six-game suspension. So now what? You know, it just it's just, it's just terrible for everybody. I think the players' association realized they made a mistake giving Roger Goodell that much control, and and <laughs> Roger Goodell is just an idiot and doesn't know how to actually be the sheriff. You know what I mean? All the suspensions are all over the place. They're always, they're always, they're, they're either insensitive or misguided or just stupid at most. You know, so like, <laughs> so it's a whole like kind of effed up situation for the NFL. Uh, you know, like, I understand that the, from a legal perspective, I understand that and I was, I was on sort of lawyer track before I decided I was too much money and work. Um, from a legal perspective, I get it. You got the right to defend yourself. You have the right to appeal no matter who you are. It's America. You know, you can do that. But the way that agreement was collectively bargained creates situations like this. And that was a mistake on, on all sides to give someone like Adele that kind of power. Sam Bradford, 275. I mean, yeah, it would have been easy for for Ezekiel Elliott just to just to take that suspension, but but you're but again, it's it's a Goodell thing because you can make the argument that the way information was collected to have that suspension happen, you know, was incorrect. There's Camel out of twenty five. So if you're not doing it correctly, yeah, you're gonna have issues like this, you know. So well, yeah, and that's a mistake too. If that's true, Austin is suggesting that I think they suspended Elliott for that long in response not suspending Ray Rice long enough, and Goodell wants to right his obvious wrong, but that's not going to help because it's all over the place. You know, what about the, uh, there's Andy Dalton to 149. What about that one, that one kicker, you know, for the New York football giants? You, you know, there's like so many different cases. It's just inconsistency. You can't have that. You know, how are you supposed to, to, to execute any kind of law from Goodell's side of things if, if, if there's no consistency to any policy? Look at, look at baseball's domestic abuse policy. It's like they have pretty much clear like, hey, X amount of time, X amount of time, X amount of time suspended for this amount of time. You know, like baseball has actually kind of has it right, you know, or at least are consistent about it, you know. And that's been negotiated with the players. And the players have to agree to it too. That's what they collectively bargained. There's Marlon Humphrey for the Ravens. So the mistake for the Players Association is giving someone like Goodell that kind of power. And then you have Goodell doing whatever he wants to do. You know, should I make this right? Should I make this wrong? Four games for deflating a football. Two games for, for knocking out your uh, future wife. But more games if you do it on video. But less games if you... Which is it? You know, that's that's just maddening. Like, like I don't think the... I'm not trying to legislate, you know, wh who, who did what. You know, there's Brandon LaFell for the Bengals. I'm just saying... Yeah, Roger Goodell is just a, is just a mess. 
There's Malachi Dupree. Hot take from Bailey Baltimore. Getting back to football. He says, Marlon Humphrey is going to be as good as Darrell Rivas. Hot take from Bailey Baltimore. There's Malachi Dupree for the Packers. That'll go to Jerry Bennington. This is our other autograph, which I will reveal in just a moment. Hopefully, it'll be someone nice. Joe Williams, 275. There's Tyree. That, that was my kind of rambling, long rambling answer for I don't really like Roger Goodell. <laughs> All right, the redemption is the juice. O.J. Howard, rookie autographs, prism green scope. That's the spirographs one, the crop circle one. Uh, out of 99, I believe. Alex Lindsay, I think. Yeah, there you go, Alex Buccaneers. Bucks. Roger Goodell. I usually don't get very dramatic. I usually don't say things like, this is ruining this. You know what I mean? I don't try not to make blanket statements like that, but but I actually think that Roger Goodell might be ruining football. <laughs> and again, I'm, I'm not that guy. I'm not conspiracy theory guy, and I'm not overreaction, knee-jerk reaction guy. That's just not my style, you know. Uh, so that's just not that's just not who I am, personality-wise. But I think he might be ruining football. <laughs> I think he, he just might be. Football will be fine. It'll be fine. But I think he's kind of ruining it. Owners seem to like him, I guess. Maybe. Kind of. Most of them, anyway. Yeah, oh, is the draft in Dallas next year? Oh, that's going to be fun. Well, yeah, I agree, Sam. Listen, that's for the courts to decide. I agree. That's that's for the courts to decide. Um, but the the NFL is a private, you know, it's a private business with its own rules and its own, you know, code of conduct, all that sort of stuff. And again, it's just it's just the way they agreed to. How punishment is, is 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 doled out? You know, okay. There's more points that'll be collected with all three, so these will all go as one lot. That takes the place of an autograph, by the way. There's Tack McKinley out of 149 for the Dirty Birds, but that's the that's the issue. Yeah, I'm the, I'm not going to get into who was right or who was wrong on that domestic situation. That's I don't have nearly enough information to even speculate on that. I'm not going to. That's that's just a waste of time. But what I do know is how uh, the NFL wants to legislate their players and Goodell is clearly doing it poorly. <laughs> no one's happy with it. I'm not happy with it. Fans aren't happy with it. They're getting dicked around. You know, there's Torrey Smith. Players are getting screwed around. It's a whole mess. Jared Cook. If only he had hands. Out of 149... Blue wave. If only he had hands instead of pieces of French bread for hands. There's Jeremy McNichols, still a Buccaneer in this set. I'll go to Alex Lindsay. Khalil Mack for the Raiders. French bread with butter, Austin. That's right. That, that's Jared Cook's hands. Amazingly talented. Runs great routes. Is a big dude. You know, I don't know why I, let's see, I'm doing some of that. But, but just misses the most, I don't know, just misses the catches that you expect him to make. Travis Benjamin out of 275. Uh, what, what is that, Sam? Or was it Sam asking that question? If you buy the team in this pack only, could we get the normal card of the team we buy that aren't autos or number of cards anyways as well? Uh, you'll get some of them. We're, we only don't ship veteran base. So these RC cards will ship. Gerald McCoy will ship because he's a prism. It's a refractor basically. But these ones that don't refract, that aren't the prism cards, these will not ship. Veteran base will not ship. It just makes it, 
I don't know. It just makes it easier for us to ship out and get the main stuff to you into your mailbox a little bit more quickly. When you end up, we end up, I mean, just look at how many breaks we do on a daily basis. So all that adds up. There's D.D. Westbrook. So when all that adds up, every little bit helps. Most people don't want veteran base anyway. And so, and no, we don't, unfortunately, we don't have like an option where you're like, oh, if I pay like five bucks extra, do I get, no, unfortunately, we can't do that either. There's Carlos Henderson for the Broncos at a 275. There's Adam Thielen at a 199. Is Teddy Bridgewater coming back? Is that like a thing? Or I don't know if that was news or not this week. I know he was practicing. He was getting close. We talking about practice. But I don't know how close he was. Yeah, the point. The points are actually see like, isn't aren't, aren't the points better than uh? So isn't isn't getting what eight hundred points better than just getting one fifty? Because what are you gonna do with one fifty? That's why we collected them all together. I think that's a better plan. Oh, uh, they said possibly towards the end of the season for for Teddy Bridgewater. Well, that'd be nice. If he can bounce back really nice, that'll be good for good for the hobby. Vakshana in the YouTube stream saying Darvish Kershaw should be able to bring home the World Series for me tomorrow. I hope so. I know you Darvish has a chip on his shoulder. He's got a lot to prove after that terrible game three. I hope so. It's not gonna be easy, that's for sure. I knew, I was pretty sure that this series would go six or seven games. I think I said this from the beginning. I did not know how stressful of a, <laughs> of a series this would be in terms of the lead changes, uh, in terms of the late inning heroics by both teams. Um, I just didn't think of, uh, I just didn't think it would happen like this way. You know, I thought that there would be, you know, one guy, one team would blow out another team. You know, there would be clear victories, you know, for, for each team. And it'd go back and forth a little bit. And then it'll get to game seven somehow. And then here we are. But How often do I break a 12-box case? Um, I'm not sure. You know, it kind of depends on what kind of new releases are happening around the same time. But I feel like once every once a day, once every other night that we're on air, we could probably knock out a prism case. I mean, it's it's kind of a new release, a newer release, so I think people are still interested in, in busting it open. So the pace is usually, I think the night one we did two cases, the next night we did a case, and then it was every other night kind of after that. There's Julio out of 199. Get him some more red zone targets. Um, yeah. So I think as, as time will go on, it'll be maybe one every... Once every three days, you know, maybe once a week after that. And by then, we'll probably be out of cases. Antonio Brown to 275. Jeff Ranish saying that's how he felt last year being a Cubs fan, going back to baseball. Um, I don't know how you guys did it. Gary Ann Connolly, now that I'm going through this experience, I think back to last year and I go, man, Cubs fans down 1-3? How did you, I mean, how did you do that? <laughs> you know, because I get, for the Cubs... You're down 1-3, then you go 2-3, then you're like, okay, whatever, right? Like, you know, we got one, so this series doesn't look embarrassing for us. And then you win another one, and then you're like, oh, 3-3. Three, three. And then, like, but but by then you're already away to Cleveland. There's Drew Brees on a 275 for the Saints. Man, I don't know, that must, be, that must have been nerve-wracking. There's Josh Malone, 42 out of 49. Red Power, I think, is what they call it. Even though it's more checkerboard. But man, that's that's. I feel like that's all. That's pretty much as stressful as the experience that that I'm going to going through. Because I just feel like any one of the that lineup is so good. Any one of those guys on the Astros, I feel like, just be like, "Bip, there you go, gone." You know. There's Ra Raekwon to uh, 99. They can just hit it out at any moment. What's up, Silverstack? 
And there's Dalvin Cook, 49 out of 99. Poor Dalvin Cook. For the Vikings, that'll go to Nick Martindale. Nice, that's the green scope. I think I ever got that redemption. That's what that'll look like. I think I have some extra cards here. I don't think anything's here. Right, Cavs fans in the finals a couple of years ago. It's stressful. Tariq Cohen at a 275. I think the, the other thing is that the Dodgers have been, you know, haven't even been in a World Series in 29 years. That's the last time they won one, too. So, uh, 75, Josh Doxson. You know, and so, yeah, for like the Cubs fans, it's, it's much longer. There's Jameis Winston of 149, Blue Wave for Alex Lindsay. Uh, so, so yeah, I mean, like the, the 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 pressure for all of that, man. It's uh, as a fan, it's nothing I've ever experienced. But this is this is why we love uh, this is why we love sports. This is why we watch. This is why we play the game. Vox China says, if the Dodgers end the drought, Blue Jays next? Are the Blue Jays constructed for that? I think they have some young, they have some good young players coming up. I mean... They've got a. They've got a reconstruct. They could re They could turn it around pretty quickly. Blue Jays. They got to reconstruct. I mean, that's a that's a tough division, though. You know, the the Boston Red Sox have have a young core of players. The Yankees have a young core of players. Um, I mean, that's a tough. That's a tough division. I guess the Dodgers are in a tough division too. Diamondbacks are tough. You know, if the Rockies improve their pitching just a little bit more, they proved a lot this season. They improved the pitching even more. I mean, that's another dangerous team, especially, you know, at home in Colorado. Giants just had a weird season. I don't think they're going to be as bad as they were last season that they were this season. Thanks, Jeff. Yeah, got to keep it in the NL, I figure, right? All right, last box. Chris Godwin is your first autograph out of here. There you go, Buccaneers. Alex Lindsay having a nice break. Buccaneers, I, I feel like, hit a lot. They've got a lot of rookies in this set. In 2017 football in general, so pro tips. Zach Miller, that this was him, right? Poor Zach Miller. People are saying that, that, that he had... It was sort of like the Teddy Bridgewater injury, they were saying... So it wasn't just – I'm top-loading him to keep him safe, Bears. That goes to Ziggy, 68, 75. Um, it wasn't just like the, 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 the ligament. It was like his kneecap had slipped or something like that, a lot like Teddy Bridgewater's injury. And there's rookie introductions, Cooper Cup. And like there were – there's four out of ten. And I think like – like arteries were almost injured or something like that, so there is a chance of him losing his leg. Like, scary. Yeah, the surgery apparently saved his leg, right? Austin saying. There's Nathan Peterman, Mr. Peterman, for the Bills. That's out of 99, the green scope. And there's Deshaun Jackson, gold. That is out of 10 for Alex Lindsay. Seven out of 10. Looking for a couple more autographs. There's Cam. I like when the parallels match the uniforms. Uh, that's out of 199 for the Panthers. We got Eric Decker for the Titans at a 275. Yeah, that cup was looked pretty nice. Gold sort of mojo kind of vibe. And there's another Sidney Jones for Jay Miller. 
There you go, Justin. You're starting your Sidney Jones PC along with your Derek Barnett PC, whether you like it or not. And D'Angelo Yancey is your last... No, psyched me out. You see that? It was this way. I thought auto. No. Thanks, Panini. Jerry Bennington. Trixie Hobbits. All right. Where's the other one? Put that on the blooper reel. Vic Beasley, Jr. At a one for... They got me. Yeah, they got me. I'm looking for one more. Yeah, I'm looking for one more autograph. There it is. Or is it? I don't know. Now my whole world is upside down. See? Now it's in my head now. Is this an autograph or not? It is. Curtis Samuels. See? Now it's got me second guessing myself. Ziggy with the Panthers last spot mojo. Goes along with your C Mac from earlier. All right. And that's it. All right? Yeah, get out of here. That's it. We made it, folks. What a break. There's Taiwan Taylor, 275. Bam. Boom. Done. Randomizer. All these points going as one lot to one body. One body right here. So let's get the dice roller from random.org. Let's open up a blank list. Let's get... Oh, I don't think the Yankees are sold yet. Uh, let's get this list right here. Pick a team four. Prism. Let's drop that in there. There's everybody. Right? Boop, boop. Let's roll the dice. Snake eyes. Yeah, it's easy for me. One and two. And we've got Corey McNeil. I don't think I think I only called your number once, Corey. So there you go. A little extra bonus. You'll get all these points. Thanks everyone. We'll see you next time on jazbeeshobbyland.com.